Hi hairstylists, so my name is Kaylee Jane and I am doing a video today on um, hair colour um, for the LHAA. So as any colourist will tell you, your foundations is key. Knowing your foundations, knowing your basics um, is always the key to building yourself up to becoming a stronger and more knowledgeable colourist. Um, when it comes to any type of colour, whether it's your colour correction or whether it's just identifying depths, identifying suitable tone to, toner to use, um, going back down to your foundations and to your basics will always be paramount to you selecting a colour. So the first things that we're going to be looking at today um, in this tutorial is going to be the colour star and what the colour star is made up of. Um, so I had to write it on here first just to make sure you can actually see it um, on the video so we're going to be looking at the color star so the color star is made up of color as we all know um, we have three different types of colors in our color star we have something that we call primary colors we have something that we call secondary colors and we have something that we call tertiary colors okay so the first things that we're going to be looking at is our primary colors these three primary colours are the main parts of the colours that build up the colour star. Everything works from these primary colours, okay? So we'll put here primary. So our three main primary colours are colours that can't be made. So you cannot make these colours. So think about this, think about when you used to maybe play around with um, some paints or you used to, or you like to make your own eyeshadows or anything like that, lipsticks. Think about this, what are the colours that cannot be made? So our three primary colours is our red, also our yellow and lastly our blue. So these are our three primary colours. So we're going to just write this down. So we've got red, yellow, and blue. So remember, when you look at primary colours, primary colours cannot be made. So I'll just pop that underneath there. So cannot be made made so these colors are the first three colors that we're going to be using to create our color style so with our color style i've got blue tack and i have got colored overlays just so it's a bit more visual for you um, and i'm hoping i can move this a little bit down just so we can see more of my Ooh. um so the thing that we're going to be looking at is our first color which is our red Okay, red is a um, brilliant colour, it is strong, um, it's vibrant, um, it's brilliant. Um, so, our red goes at the top of our colour star. I'm going to move this up just a little bit, just so we can start seeing the colour star a little bit clearer. Um, and I'm going to put the overlays onto a white background. Okay, so, what we're going to be putting at is your red. So, your red overlay your red on your colour star will come on top. So this is the first part of your colour star. Okay, we then have our um, yellow. So this is our lovely yellow, a lovely bright, vibrant colour, which then goes into this corner. Just making sure this is nice and secure. And our third primary colour, is blue so the blue then comes into this color i will be drawing out a star in a moment just to make it a little bit more easy for you to see but first i just want you to see these colors and how we make our secondary colors okay so we've got red we've got yellow and we've got our blue so these are our three primary colors they cannot be made however we can make what i was going back earlier our secondary colors out of these primary colors okay so our secondary colors the secondary colors that we've got is we're going to be starting to mix these colors together so on the top of our color star we have red we have another color here and then we've got yellow so if i mixed yellow 
and red together, what colour would I get? Yes, orange! So, orange is one of our first colours of our secondary. So there, and now I've just lost, no I haven't lost my black pen, it fell on the floor. Um, so secondary, so these are made up of primary colours. So one is our orange, so to show you what I mean by that is that I'm going to start to move my overlays around. So if I was to put my red and my yellow here, make sure that clicked. you can start to see that we've got red, then we've got orange, now we've got yellow. Okay, so that's our first secondary colour is orange because it's the red and the yellow mixed together. So, our second secondary colour, um, you guessed it, we're going to start to mix the yellow and the blue together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this blue underneath the yellow. The reason why is because this blue is quite strong compared to the yellow overlay I have. Um, obviously, we're trying our best with limited resources and lockdown. Um, so, we will go underneath. And then what you should start to see here is green. Let me see if you can actually see that. I don't know if you can. Let me bring that a little bit closer. There we go. So at the minute we can see our um, different colours. We've got our red, we've got the yellow, we've got the green and we've got the blue. Okay. So the... Second primary colour is green. Our last secondary colour is the blue and the red mixed together. So blue and red mixed together will give us a purple or a violet. So again, I'm just going to bring this closer just for you to see that. Okay, so then we've got red and blue mixed together to give us our purple or our violet. Ooh, that one decided not to stay on. So we'll pop that on the board here. So let's recap that again. So our orange is made up of our red and our yellow. Our green is made up of the yellow and the blue. And the purple is made up of red and the blue okay so our color star will have six main colors on it which we're gonna draw now obviously don't laugh at my star it might be a little bit off but you know we can get creative with this so when you look at the color star um, it does have all of the colors on there so let me grab my pen so we're literally going to create a star with two triangles. So how the order that it needs to go into is we need to think about um, the colour that I said first. So the first one that we've got up here is red. So our red is going to go on the top. I'm actually going to use the colours rather than actually... Um, Right in the coloured names, I've just lost my red pen, which is oh no, it's here. Sorry. Um, so the first one on the first colour on top is red. The one that we um have here now is think about what is the colour that we mix together. Um, the red and the yellow gave us then the colour that we need here, which is orange. The next colour we're going to be putting here is another prim um, primary colour, which is our yellow. 
Then we go to green. Then we go to blue. And then last but not least, we go to, we do call it purple, but in the hair world we say violet, so I'm going to write violet on there. Um, so violet. Lovely. So this is our colour star. So our colour star um, comprises at the moment of our primary colours and also of our secondary colours. Um, so always remember that your primary colours cannot be made, but your secondary colours is a mix of your primary colours, okay? It's really important that you remember that. So the reason why it's really important to know this colour star in um, hair colour is because this is what we use to make all of our colours, okay? That will make sense in a moment and why we use this. Um, so the next thing you would have remembered me said if I went back, I said it's made up of three main colour um, families. The next one is what we call tertiary, okay? So tertiary, I'm just going to write it down on here. So it's T-E-R-T-I-A-R-Y. Well, that's how I'm pretty sure it's spelled. Sorry if I'm wrong. Um, so the tertiary colours are actually the colours that are found in between these colours here. So again, I'm just going to add some more triangles. And we'll write down the names of our um, tertiary colours. So here, obviously, because we've got red and orange, your tertiary colour is going to be ready orange. So I'll write that on there. Ready orange. And it follows suit. So our next tertiary colour, if we've got in between orange and yellow, is going to be orangey yellow. Yeah, so it's what the colours are mixed together for what you can see. And we then have yellow and green. So obviously that one is going to be yellowy green. Then we have the green and the blue. So this one is going to be greeny blue. And it carries on. Oh, guys, so we've got the blue and the violet. So this one is going to be bluey, violet. And then last but not least, we've got violet red. Okay, so we have got primary colours on there, we've got secondary colours on our colour star, and then we've got our tertiary colours. Okay, so there are three main families. Always remember, again I'll recap this, primary colours cannot be made, secondary colours is the um, primary colours mixed together, and then tertiary colours is your primaries and your secondaries mixed together as well. Okay, so in hair colour, you're going to be asking me why do we need this? Why do we use this? We use the colour star in every single colour that um, we pick, every single toner that we need to create. The reason being is because we're using the colour star to see what neutralises what. So this basically means in hair terms, let's break it down a little bit more simple. So if you're making somebody a lighter, and you've got the you've taken the colour off and it's a little bit too yellow and you want to calm that yellow down. We go to our colour star, we come to the yellow, and then we're gonna go opposite. So what opposite that is violet. So we know that we need to use a violet ash to be able to neutralise out the yellow. So that's what I mean by to neutralise or to calm down, okay? Which I'm gonna show you in, in your overlays in a moment. Um, so you can see it. The first thing that I'm just going to do now is I'm just going to draw arrows to show you that opposites neutralise each other. So any hair that has too much orange in it, we actually need to use primarily an ash blue ash toner to be able to neutralise out the orange in the hair. If something's got quite a lot of um, red in the hair, a lot of red warmth, we need to use um, a green ash to be able to neutralise out that red tone. So the colour star is always the opposite we need to use to neutralise out. 
okay? Um, you'll also see in the colour star that on one side we have the warm colours and on the opposite side we have the cool colours. So our warm colours consist of our red, orange and yellow and our cool side, so the ash side, consists of our violet, our blue and our green. Okay, so always remember one side is warm and one side is cool. We use the colour star to neutralise out each other. Tone is opposite and how it's going to neutralise and flatten out is going to help you with your colour selection of your toners, of your um, tones that you are inputting into any of your colour mixtures itself. This is imperative. Your most important thing that you need to know first when it comes to colour is always going to be your colour star. Okay, so it's going to be knowing what your primary colours are, what your secondary colours are, what your tertiary colours are, and where they sit on the colour star. We also need to know what the colour star is used for. So it's used for our neutralisation, knowing which tone is going to neutralise what. So that was your first session on colour and the colour star. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.